All right, here we go with Volgar the Viking on the PC. This is going to be a no-hit run on the first stage of the game, so let's check it out. Okay, starting things off, get your first power up. Those blue guys, just like I showed there, you can hit them twice without having to stop if you swing early enough. Something I just discovered yesterday. And right there, that's also a time saver if you care about speedrunning um, and doing all the items. You can hit the chest on the way down and then hit it with the back end of your sword. Down here is where you'll find the uh, Mjolnir power. That'll give you an extra valuable hit without losing your gear. And you can jump up here for a hidden chest. Like that, you can take the bee out and the big spider on the top platform in one in one move. And I like doing those rolling double jumps off of edges. I don't know if they save you time, but uh, I think they look cool. So three hits. Another important thing to remember is that when you do have your flame sword, um, your attack arc on your double jumps is much bigger. That part's obvious, but what might not be so obvious is that enemies and chests that normally require you to duck to hit them, um, you can hit them standing up. So if there's a chest in your path, you can just keep walking and hit it, swing at it, open it and collect the treasure inside without having to stop. So that's pretty useful. So right here, just take out more creatures. Um, this game's really fun. Um, I posted some first impressions on the blog yesterday and how it totally reminds me of the difficult 16-bit titles I played early on on the Genesis and Super Nintendo. It has that feel almost to a T but with modern refinements that make it just a joy to play. It um, You never feel like the game is unfair um, and if you do it's you know because of a mistake you made. Um, it's never the fault of the controls. The controls, um, dare I say, in this game are perfect. They, they just, they are really fluid and they do exactly what you want when you want them to, to happen. So I really like that about this. And this area in particular I think has fantastic level flow. Um, I think the game designers at Crazy Viking Studios did a, did a terrific job um, on that part of the game. And like I said in my first video, I think the animation too is just superb. Uh, in screenshots, it might not look like anything special and may just look like another one of your uh, many retro uh, reboot style games, but they really put a lot of time into the animation. It's, it's really nice. And I know on YouTube it's only 30 frames per second, but the game itself is 60 frames, so everything is just super smooth. So, yeah, it's, it's worth checking out if, uh, if you don't have it yet. So right here, I'm getting towards the second half of the um, substage. So just going to get up here, take care of those annoying little snakes. And this part took me a little while to figure out. I didn't know that you, uh, and there's probably a way that you can just go up there without having to do this, but throwing those spears through these uh, holes in the wall will block some of those spores from falling down and hitting you. And so here it just takes a little careful timing over that platform so you don't get hit by a spore. Jump up here, take care of a couple creatures hanging out on this platform. I'm wasting way too much time. And then up here take care of that big spider. Fall down. And those little orbs that you collect are helpful in the, uh, the path of the Valkyrie. And I haven't even touched those yet because I'm not very good at the main game, but I've heard that is pretty darn challenging too. So a lot more to this game than just the, the critical path. So climbing up here, take care of a couple last creatures. There's a red one that might throw you off if you don't have the flame sword. So yeah, this this game is my current favorite. It's it's really fun, and I like this boss. It's he's he's easy to beat, especially if you have if you're fully powered up. It takes just a couple seconds. Chop his head off. Nice little blood spurt. And um, yeah, when you open this chest, if you're going for a low time, you want to make sure and get all these 
treasures in, in one fell swoop, which I don't right there. So yeah, that's the uh, first stage of the game, and uh, hope you enjoyed watching it. And I'll be back with the next one, which is the water stage. Thanks for watching.